Hi friends! Do you want to know about the main features of Windows 10 Technical Preview before installing it on your PC? Let's go ahead and take a quick tour of the salient features of Windows 10 Technical Preview. Let's begin with the Start menu. The Start menu on Windows 10 is somewhat similar to the Start menu in Windows 7, but it inherits many features from the Start screen in Windows 8. In short, it's a combination of Windows 7 and Windows 8 Start menu. To resize any tile on the Start menu of Windows 10, right-click on the tile, go to Resize option, and then select the desired option from the displayed menu. You can also resize the whole Start menu by dragging its edges with the help of the mouse cursor. To access all the apps and programs installed on your Windows 10 PC, click on All Apps. To pin any program or app to the Start menu, just right-click on it and then select Pin to Start. Just like in Windows 7, there is a search box in Windows 10 where you can search items. You can switch account from the top of the Start menu and also turn off or shut down your PC. Just click on your username and from the menu that appears, you can sign out or switch the user account. To restart or shut down the computer, click on the power icon. The Snap feature comes dramatically improved in Windows 10. Snapping active apps has become more pleasant now on Windows 10. In Windows 10, you can snap apps in the four quadrants by using the Windows and arrow keys combination. Here we will demonstrate this quadrant snap feature of Windows 10 with three active windows. Click the Start button and then click on any app you will see that the app will open in normal view. Now to align this app to the left of the screen, you can use the Windows and left arrow keys combination. You can use the Windows and right or left keys combination with any active app. Now let's open another app. To align this app to right, use the Windows and right arrow keys combination. Now let's open a third application. For demo purpose, here we are opening Documents. Once the third application window, which is Document Application window, opens, just press the Windows and Down arrow keys combination on your keyboard. Now press Windows and Right keys combination and you will see that the three windows are snapped in correct order. The File Explorer in Windows 10 has a new enhancement. Open the Start menu and then click on File Explorer to open it. The home location in File Explorer is the default view that lists folders you browse frequently and the recently opened files. In the Share tab, you will find a new prominent Share button that enables you to share one or more files. To share any file, locate the desired file and select it. Click on the Share tab and then click on Share to share files via email, network, or universal apps, whichever is applicable. To convince enterprises to move to Windows 10, Microsoft has added some new features to the one Windows utility IT professionals use the most, the Command Prompt. Click on the Start menu and then click on Command Prompt to open it. Microsoft has now added Standard Test Selection, Cut, Copy and Paste function, and you can easily copy and paste your text in the Command Prompt windows. Type the text on Command Prompt window, select the text, and then cut it by using the Ctrl and X keys combination, or copy the text by using the Ctrl and C keys combination. To paste the cut or copied text in Command Prompt, you can now use the Ctrl and V keys combination. Another inclusion in Windows 10 is the Virtual Desktops feature, which is a part of the new task view. To add a virtual desktop, Go to the taskbar, click on Task View, and then click on Add a Desktop. Click on the new desktop, click on the Start menu, and then open any program or app. It will open in the newly added virtual desktop. To access the previous desktop, click Task View again on the taskbar, and then click on the previous desktop. Here you can also open a new program or app. To switch in between the desktop and the virtual desktop, 
click on the task view and from here you can choose the desktop that you want to access. The task view in Windows 10 is the new place that replaces the default Alt and Tab app switcher in Windows. Use the Alt and Tab keys combination to switch between open windows or apps. The selected program or app will be highlighted with a white outline. Release the keys combination to access the program or app. You can repeat the same process to access other programs or apps. In Windows 10, Microsoft has also introduced universal apps that can run side by side with the Windows apps. To access universal apps, click on the Start menu and then click on Windows Store to open it. Here you can see different apps. Open any Windows program or app to confirm the same. Microsoft has not done away with the Charms bar. Let's see how it appears in Windows 10 Technical Preview. Click on the Start menu and then open any app. You will notice that Charms has been moved to a menu located in the top left corner of the app with access to all the Charms options. If you go to the full screen view of any app, move the cursor to the top of the window. A menu will appear from where you can access all the Charms options. The Windows Feedback app is perhaps the most important aspect of Windows 10 for Microsoft. The company wants to know what you think of the new changes and features in Windows 10. To access the Feedback app, click on the Start menu and then click on the Windows Feedback tile. Go to the desired category and then choose the desired area so that your feedback reaches the right place. Select the feedback of your choice and then give your votes too. If you want to give a new feedback, then click on the New Feedback button and give your feedback. In Windows 10, you can also pin the Recycle Bin to the Start menu. To do so, just right-click on the Recycle Bin and then select Pin to Start. Now when you will open the Start menu, you can see that the Recycle Bin is pinned there. To pin the Recycle Bin to the taskbar, right-click on the Recycle Bin tile and select Pin to Taskbar. In Windows 10, you can also uninstall a program or app by right-clicking on its tile and selecting Uninstall from the menu. If it's not a pre-installed app, it will take you to Programs and Features window from where you can uninstall the program. Microsoft has also added two Windows Phone features to Windows 10, Data Sense and Battery Saver. To access these features, click on the Start menu. Click on All Apps and then click on PC Settings. Click on Data Sense from the left pane. The Data Sense app monitors the volume of data going into and out of your computer, keeping separate tabs on Wi-Fi and cellular links. Now go back and click on Update and Recovery. Click on Preview Builds and then choose how fast you'd like to get new preview builds. Go back and then click on Battery Saver. Here the only available choices are turning on and off the Battery Saver option. Windows 10 also comes with the new ZPC setting app that includes many more settings. To access it, click on the Start menu. Click on All Apps, scroll down the Apps list, and click on ZPC Settings. The ZPC Settings app brings up an alternate PC settings universe with such intriguing entries such as OEM and Pending or Deprecated. Hope these new features will compel you to try the latest version of Windows Operating System for Microsoft. Thanks for watching. To check out more related tech videos, click here. If you have any query or want to share something with us, click here. To get iOGI tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.